Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, Gear Live. We're here with Ian McNaughton, product manager for Athlon FX Processors. Fancy title, um, as EM AMD <laughs> seems to do uh, from the business cards I've been getting today. What does that even mean? It, it just simply means I get a paycheck and uh -huh. uh, I work for AMD. Um, I, I product Everybody has that title then? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I product manager our, our FX lineup of desktop CPUs. Okay. Okay. And uh, we were just talking earlier, we were having some lunch, um, which was very good, by the way, here in the AMD Cafe. And we're talking about um, quad core processing and, you know, computing and the wave of the future. And you seem pretty passionate about the subject, so we figured we'd talk to you about it because, um, you, according to you, there's only one way to do a quad core. Well, um, even though it seems yes. that there's two ways to the average consumer. Th there's one quad core, and then there's a multi-chip module, which is two dual cores put together underneath the same package. So let's not confuse the two. One's native quad core, and the other one is a multi-chip module, which has four cores. Okay. So if I were the average consumer who, who, who didn't know a guy like you, mm -hmm. um, what, do these, what are the fundament, fundamental differences? What does this mean to the average consumer? Why would they want the native quad core versus the, uh, what I heard referred to as the duct tape model? Yes, the duct tape together multi-chip module. <clears throat> a a AMD is customer-centric. AMD is about innovation for the consumer. It it's a fundamental philosophy difference between us and our competitors. So if you look to purchase a competitor's product, which is a multi-chip module, y you're going to have, that's it. There's no path forward. There's no upgradability path. There's nothing left for you except for that one product that you purchased. Whereas if you purchase an AMD native quad core in, a, say, a 2P, motherboard solution which we're going to be offering second half of seven you're going to have upgradability you're going to have not only four cores today but you're going to have the ability to upgrade to eight cores if that's something that you so choose so it, we have a philosophy difference in, in the way we bring products to market okay and um so aside from the upgradability path you were also talking about just straight performance and how there's a difference there as well um yeah how, how does that work so you have the the two you know, duct tape together on one one processor versus your your native quad core. Um, the performance differences. How does that work? Well, so I'm not going to talk to you about performance. I'll talk to you about architecture okay. because we're not going to talk about performance because ours is an unreleased product still. Um, there's a fundamental difference in, in our architecture versus our competitors' architecture. Our architecture has a built-in memory controller and hypertransport, and what that means is that we actually access our memory uh, much quicker than our competitors' product. They have to actually come out on, over the front side bus, so they're limited on their, their memory access. So we, we, just by basic architecture, have a, um, um, a faster um, solution than our competitors. Okay. And for real-world uh, application performance, um, what would that mean? Be, so when you have to come out from a multi-chip module across the front side bus to talk to the other two processors that exist, the two cores, you, you have a, a, an inherent latency, latency meaning it's slower. Whereas on, on our native quad core, you're going to actually be speaking on die. I mean, you're going to be speaking on the actual processor itself to the other cores. So it's faster. So everything you do, whether it be video encodes or gaming or anything like that, when you, you have to access memory. And you're going to be able to access that memory quicker with an AMD architecture native quad core. Okay. There it is. So, uh, and um, when are we going to be able to expect to see, uh, see this in the hands of the consumer? If so, you can divulge that. <laughs> if the consumer is going to be purchasing a server, you're going to be able to see our, <laughs> our Barcelona chips uh, uh, at the end of uh, Q2, beginning of Q3. Um, but as the, the normal desktop consumer, it's going to be second half of 07. Okay. So definitely by Christmas time or, oh, or, or holiday long time. Long before Christmas time. Depend okay, long before then. Second half of 2007. Um, thanks a lot, Ian. We appreciate it. Glad you appreciate get a paycheck it. here at uh, AMD. Thanks for coming to the great state of Texas. All right, yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs>